Holy Mother of Christ. <sighs> Part of my architectural experiment is whether you can convey X amount of goods from civilization to campsite in terms of that transition, that, that natural transition I was speaking about in the video concerning this architectural experiment at this campsite. That is using the best of primitive living and their timeless principles, which are relevant, just as relevant today as they've ever been, and amalgamating that with the best of modernity, the best of our technology and knowledge, as opposed to our abuses and crap. So that's what I'm doing. But today's facet of that experiment was the conveyance factor. Can a person successfully utilize whatever is on the street and convey all necessities to campsite to get started? So I've got all my gas, I've got, I've even got a solar panel or two, I think I've got three. Um, I've got everything I need and this was, this is the rest of it, so I've got, I'm, I'm now, I'm now good. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much set, so success, you can do it, but what a fucking mission. Now have a look at what I did. There's, that's all water, so, give you an understanding of how fucking heavy that fucking cunt is, it's equivalent to an Atlas stone. But it's harder than an Atlas stone because I packed it in a fucking tent bag. And the tent bag didn't rip either. I'm surprised. But you can imagine what approximately 130, 140 kilos feels like when it's floppy. It's a nightmare. It's like trying, it's bench pressing 200 kilos is easier. Way easier. Um, so I had to pick that from the floor, get it on my shoulder, which I did easily. So I actually picked up that whole thing, put it on my shoulder, walked about... How much, how long did I walk? Just over 100 metres, up and downstairs, uh, up, no downstairs, so it was fucking hard going down the stairs with it being um, meticulous. And that's just that. And there was everything else in the trolley that I had to load in there. Then I had to push that up a hill, push it across a road, get it on the bus, lift it on the bus. So altogether, it weighed about two or 300 kilos, this trolley, with all the other stuff in it, cooking stuff, clothes, food, wow. And the trolley itself. And then, the fun, and just when you thought it didn't get any harder, then I had to push it 300 metres. Well, I, correction, I pushed it from the bus stop about half a K, but that was smooth road. And then I through all this. I managed to do it. I managed to make paths, go up and down rocks. The whole fucking works. A few fucking branches. I've never been this fucking strong in my life. I fucking surprised myself. That's fucking world's strongest man shit. I can't believe I just fucking pushed a trolley 300 meters. I'm not even worried. That was impressive. I was fucking carrying that fucking whole bag full of water. The weight of an Atlas stone. 100 meters and keeping it there and just walking and walking but uh, that pales in comparison to having to push this fuck with everything in that fucking water 300 meters through this shit <laughs> lifting it down lifting it down dragging it all my strength wow i'm fucked but in a good way it's only early i've still got a lot of stuff to do today so it's, the fun's only getting started but the point is it can be done I've just done it. So the fucking tent's just there. All I've got to do now is transfer this to the tent and then be a good citizen and take the trolley back. It can be done. Unbelievable. I feel like a fucking... I feel like Hercules. I might take some fucking photos with my no, no clothes on later. <laughs> you can see my fucking fat goat. <laughs>